is good everybody on YouTube. It is your boy Forrest Ripperton back at it again with another video. Yeah, did. What is going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a beautiful, wonderful Monday. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got on live on my Instagram last night and I was telling a couple people on my Instagram of what I'm about to start doing with my, um, with some of these videos because a lot of people ask me about my hair all the time and I've made a couple like dread videos but I want to like I want to keep like making some because y'all you guys like ask me a lot of questions you guys wouldn't even understand like or believe how many times I get asked the same questions over and over again or just get asked a bunch of questions about my hair and things like that so I decided that I wanted to make some videos for you guys about my hair and like how I got my dreads or how I what I do to my dreads and things like that so with today's video because since I washed my hair yesterday and like um like oiled it up and stuff like that I decided to make this video on like how to wash and maintain your freeform dreads um and my dreads have turned into semi freeform after a while but right now I'm going to talk to you guys about like freeforming because I started off at freeforming and if you guys haven't seen any of my other uh, dread videos, I'll go ahead and drop those links below this video. But my dreads are now semi uh, freeform. But I wanted to talk to you guys about like how to like wash and maintain freeform dreads because that's how I started, and it was in that stage for a very, very, very long time before it got to how it is now. And um, like I said, I have some more videos like showing my stages of like before I got to there so I would put that video right there first of all with free form dreads it's literally what it says it's just free forming you literally aren't doing anything to manipulate your hair um using like the microfiber towel and using the sponge you're not free forming now like once you start using that once you start using the microfiber towel and twisting it or finger twisting it and things like that you're not freeforming it anymore because it's not growing freely. It's not locking up freely. You're now like manipulating them. And I think that's where like a lot of people got my first video confused at. And I kind of got it confused as well. But when it comes to freeforming, you're literally just washing your hair. Um, and with my hair, I literally was... Because um, a lot of people ask me like how many times should they wash their hair and stuff like that. I was washing my hair at least like once a week and yeah so but if you like if you're a person who like works out a lot you sweat a lot and things like that you'll probably need to wash your hair um at least like two or three times a week because you're like working out sweat and your hair is going to get all dirty and things like that so me personally when I first started my freeform dreads I was washing my hair about once a week and when you have freeform dreads your hair is going to lock up when it's clean and it's dry a lot of people um it's like a lot of myths out there going about your hair being dirty and it helps it grow and stuff like that but i'll talk about that in another video because that's definitely something i want to talk about but in order to have like free forming dreads and for your hair to lock up and this is for people who have like very coarse hair and things like that because um people who have like straight hair uh with dreads you would have to do like a crochet hooking and things like that free forming your dreads probably won't really be you probably won't really be able to free form your dreads because your hair is too straight so it's going to be extremely hard for it to lock up so you would have to use like crochet hooking you would have to try the microfiber towel finger twisting the uh uh that method when they're like ripping something like that but if you have like really coarse hair um, and you want freeform dreads literally this is what you do you wash your hair at least like at least I'm saying at least you could wash it a couple more times but you're literally washing your hair at least once a week letting it dry and letting it do whatever it wants to do that is the point of it being free form and um, I saw that some people said that you shouldn't if your hair is like really oily and things like that your hair is not gonna lock up but with me personally my hair and my scalp gets super, super dry and flaky. So I, me personally, when I was starting my freeform journey, I would wash my hair, let it dry. And then once it's like dried and like started to lock up a little bit, because your hair locks up way, like it locks up way quicker right after you uh, wash your hair and it dries. Because now it's like really thick and it's really like coarse. So it's like 
pieces of your hair are going to stick together. They're going to mat up together and things like that. So that's the best time for your hair to like really, really, really lock up. It's like right after you wash it and it starts to dry. But like I said, with my hair, my hair was really, really, really dry. Like my hair is dry all the time. Like really flaky. When I go like this and stuff, I see like flakes and stuff coming out of my hair. So me personally, I will wash my hair at least once a week. And then I would use, um, I would use like coconut oil to like grease my scalp, like your scalp, like with, if anything, like if you're not running it through your hair, because that's what I was doing. I was literally like running, like I do this stuff now, but I was running coconut oil through my hair and everything like that. But if you don't do that, at least all your scalp, because you don't want dry hair, like dry hair is just not good for anybody like dry scalp dry all of that is just not good for you so i would suggest you to oil your scalp at least once a day that's what that's what i was doing so all of these things that all these like tips that i'm giving you guys are just ways that i went about my hair because i know a lot of people out there who have dreads or started freeform dreads and things like that they're going to try to come at me and be like no, you shouldn't do this, or no, it don't work like that, or da 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 da. And with anything in life, it's like, it's so many other methods to things. So, these are just my personal, like, journeys uh, with getting my dress and things like that. So, I, when I have my free flow dress, I will wash my hair like a week, once a week, and I will oil my scalp literally every day. Literally every day, I use coconut oil. Um, uh, let me see. I have it in here. I have this shea butter. I want to take it out. It's in this plastic bag because it's like really oily and stuff like that. But let me see if I can get it out. This is the coconut oil I would use. I hope y'all can see it. It's probably backwards, but it's 100% extra virgin coconut oil. And it's like, when it's warm, it's liquidy. But when it's like, let me take it out. Right now, it's liquidy. So I won't really be able to show y'all that much. But like, you can't really see it, but when it's cold, like room temperature kind of sort of is solid. So you can just put your fingers in there, go like this and like really just massage your scalp and things like that. And that's what I would do. I would literally do that every single day because I don't want my hair dry and flaky and stuff like that. And while you're trying to get free form dreads, like if you really want free, 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 free form dreads, you don't do anything. Literally, you don't do anything anything to it you don't uh finger twist it sponge it microfiber towel it you don't do anything you let it do whatever it wants to do and that's why a lot of people who have free form dreads their hair looks so different because you can't really you know what i'm saying you can't really get everybody's style because that's how their hair decided to like mat up and lock up so literally wash your hair and Literally go about your day. <laughs> like, don't do anything. You could dry it with a towel a little bit and then let it air dry. But don't do anything to your hair. And I'm warning you guys right now, your hair is going to look... It's going to look, like, weird a lot of times. Because, especially, like, if it's not... Like, your hair's not really long. So, your hair is just going to look weird at certain times. So, that's the commitment you just got to make when it comes to, like, free-forming dreads. Because you never know what it's going to look at, look like at all because it's just going to do whatever it wants to do so like i said with washing and man maintaining freeform dreads you're literally just washing your hair all the time i've repeated that this whole video you're literally just washing your hair and going about your day and oiling your scalp me personally i would suggest anybody out there who has really bad like like dry scalp that you could just oil your scalp at least once a day and um, a lot of people also ask me, like, what kind of shampoos or things like that do I use? I don't use any specific shampoo. Literally, I just use whatever shampoo we got in the house. Um, I just use whatever shampoo we have in the house. And I would just, like, wash my hair, get my scalp good, wash it. I wash two times. Like, I wash, rinse it, wash, and then rinse it. And then I'll put conditioner in my hair. I feel like, um, I feel like using conditioner... I feel like you shouldn't really use conditioner on the beginning stages of your uh, dreads because I feel like conditioner kind of loosens your hair up and makes it like super, super like soft and brings out the curls and things like that. So I would suggest you not really use conditioner when you're trying to get your freeform dreads, but wash your hair and then once you get out of the shower, dry it with a towel a little bit if you want to, then let it air dry and go on about your day or your scalp if you really need to. 
and it'll be good. And it takes time for your hair to get lengthy. It takes time for you to actually see really good progress or for your hair to look a certain way of how you want it to look because it's going to look crazy in the beginning. But that's why I like dreads a little bit as well because it shows some type of commitment, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not going to look the same way. It's not going to look right the whole time. So, yeah, when it comes to free-forming your dreads, um, you literally don't do anything. Thing. I remember when I made my first video on how to freeform dreads, I should have said like how to semi freeform. So I'm going to make another video about that as well. I'm going to give you guys a video on how to semi freeform your dreads because that's what I did. I started freeforming and then I started doing some other stuff to manipulate that process to make my hair look like how it is right now. But yeah, um, but yeah, I hope these tips were helpful. So when it comes to freeforming your dreads, um, you're literally not doing anything to manipulate it. You're just watching it, let it just freely do whatever it wants to do. It. It's gonna, it, it might clamp up real a bunch of dreads hair right here. It might do some other stuff, but that's the whole art of freeforming. Like it's just gonna do whatever it wants to do, and then you'll figure out what style it looks like. And then if you decide to manipulate it later, then that's what you could do. So yeah, wash your hair at least once a week. Oil your scalp if you have really bad, like really dry hair. Oil your scalp. You could run it through your hair a little bit. But yeah, that's literally it when it comes to freeforming your dreads. And you'll get a unique style after you let it grow a little bit and things like that. So yeah, that's all it is to uh, washing, maintaining, really getting uh, freeform dreads. Yeah. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if this was helpful. Um, ask me any kind of questions below because like I said, I'm going to be making a lot of freeform dreads and semi-freeform dreads and just dread videos because you guys seem to really need um, like some advice and things like that. So put some uh, questions below, some topics you want me to talk about with getting dreads and things like that. Let me know if this was helpful for you guys. And yeah, um, yeah, and also... On my page, I don't want you guys to think that this is just a dread um, channel. I literally talk about like a lot of stuff. I go thrifting. I do thrift challenges. I do all types of challenges. I do all types of videos, whatever like may come to my mind. But a lot of it is to help you guys. So that's why I'm doing the dread videos as well. So yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If it's your first time ever seeing my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. So stay tuned. Like this joint right here. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, thumbs down it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's your boy Forge Ripperton, and I'll see you guys in another video. And we are out. Yee!